My name's Peter Bellaby. I'm English and I'm a globe maker. The inspiration was purely that I'd struggled for, for years trying to find a present for my father for his birthday. And so I thought I'd make a globe. Thought I'd give myself a few months and a few thousand pounds to make it. And it just got out of control. Almost two years, all my savings, sold my car, sold my house. At the beginning, I was making a globe every single day, throwing it away, making it again, throwing it away. And I mean, I threw away 150 globes. It's taken two to four years for myself to get to this standard. We use traditional materials, wood um, and brass, but we're now using much more contemporary materials, just because the longevity will be there. Everything we do is handmade. It's done to order for each customer. Fundamentally, the, the difficult tasks are making a sphere. We form the sphere to begin with. We then go on to um, the stage of applying the paper. On a larger globe, there are 24 of them. Now, if you are 0.1 of a millimetre out, which is not that much, um, on each one, negatively, then you are 1.2 millimetres out. I mean, I, making a, a globe like this, I spend half the time just measuring to make sure I'm in the right position. What we're creating, each one is unique and the way we paint it, we can never replicate it from one globe to another. I mean, it's an intentional way of painting that we use. We allow the watercolours to dry under their own steam. The last thing we want from this is to have a homogenous um, looking colour scheme. The charm of it is the fact that it's hand painted and there will be character in that. We have different names for globes which are dependent both on the size of the globe but also on the base. The main bases that we have would be one with an axle through it so that the globe spins smoothly around an axle. Designing bases um, for globes is incredibly difficult. I've turned down hundreds of designs. The Albion was a name we came up with for a new design of base, which has three roller bearings um, and the globe sits on top of it. We're developing one at the moment. It's called the Gagarin. It's an image of the Earth as you'd get from the space station. It's still hand-painted. It looks absolutely stunning. For the celestial, we, we kind of did some research. The way that many of the bodies have, have been depicted amongst the stars is, is not actually factually correct. It, it doesn't have the right dimensions, but you have to do that in order to, to match where the stars are. And then we realized that we would have to um, create the designs in a very much medieval way. A celestial globe wouldn't look right if we had Hercules wearing jeans and a t-shirt. I've no interest in having a ton of people um, making these. It's a lovely niche product. Half our customers come into the studio. They have discussions with the painter and the maker and the other people. And that's a really lovely thing. People really want that. So we'll never grow too big.